Imagine flying. No, really, take a moment and imagine soaring through the sky. Humans have been obsessed with flying for ages. And I've been dreaming about flying since I was a little girl. Except in my dreams, I wasn't soaring. I was something like this, and I would flap. And I would flap and flap and flap. And if I flapped hard enough, I would come just a few inches off the ground. It was exhausting. And these dreams persisted for 20 years now. And sometimes I would get a few feet above the ground. And sometimes even as high as the treetops. But I would always descend from utter exhaustion from all of that flapping. Yeah, this is quite symbolic, I know. Recently, a friend of mine, actually me and this friend a few years back, we went skydiving together, speaking of flying. Yeah, that's me. Well, he took me flying, and I got a taste of what it's like. I'm with Anne, one of my best friends ever. This may be the last time we see each other. <laughs> Just kidding. It might be. We've already accepted it. What a it. way to go. <laughs> Anne, you excited? I'm really excited. A little nervous. Anne's going to fly a plane for the first time. Why don't you bring us to the left? Let her here. Oh my god. Bring us down. About a third oh degree. my god, the ice is so amazing. It's pretty cool, right? Oh my god, I feel like we're in Antarctica right now. Isn't it cool? Yeah, we're right at 3,000 feet. It feels scary. Oh, you're doing perfect. And recently I had a breakthrough dream. My arms were spread, and I was soaring. And it felt so amazing. However, I was indoors and there was a ceiling. And although the ceiling was pretty high, I knew that I had the potential to go beyond to the vast blue skies, empty space beyond. And this dream in particular has been quite symbolic to my journey, my path, dharma, as we call it in yoga. For me, this path, this dharma, is about sharing my passion for mind-body practices in my business. But for you, it may be being an entrepreneur or traveling the world. No matter what your dream may be, the only thing holding us back are these imaginary ceilings. And the first step is to make a decision to burst through these ceilings. And when you've made a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. Wherever you are, whether you're at a desk or you are at a couch, sit tall and join me for 60 seconds, what I like to call a minute meditation. Sitting tall, closing the eyes, aware of the breath, and bringing to mind a goal of yours, long-term or short, big or small, Whatever pops in your mind first is perfect. Imagine yourself breaking past any barriers, ceilings holding you back. Imagine what it will feel like to realize this goal. A sense of flying, free, untethered and expansive. Breathe into this feeling. And you can either open your eyes or continue this meditation on your own. And I'd like to end this with another Emerson quote. Dare to live the life you have dreamed for yourself. Go forward and make your dreams come true. Be well and namaste.